Well, in crisis and on hold, it is the reality facing Detroiters in an emergency. Thousands turn to 911 every single day, but the seven investigators have learned hundreds of calls are essentially being put on hold and not just for a few seconds, sometimes minutes. Tonight, seven investigator Ross Jones is digging into the problem the city says is unacceptable and what they are doing to fix it. I was having complications, I couldn't breathe, I was lightheaded. It was just last month when Jasmine Triplett thought she was staring death in the face. That's when I couldn't catch my breath. I said, oh, this is it. I've never had nothing like that happen to me before. The Detroit mom couldn't stand, struggled to breathe, but was able to grab the phone. When I dialed 911, I heard an automatic system. You have reached the city of Detroit 911 emergency center. All operators are handling emergency calls. And then it got longer and longer. The time got longer, the way it got longer. What she heard is what the city calls its voice prompt, an automated message that plays when there are more calls to 911 than call takers to answer them. After a few minutes of waiting, Jasmine says a call taker finally did answer and dispatched EMS to her home. She called it the longest wait of her life. What happened to Jasmine isn't the norm in Detroit, but it also isn't that unusual. Our investigation reveals that every day in the city, hundreds of calls to 911 are delayed because there just aren't enough call takers to answer them. It's a problem even city officials didn't fully recognize until our investigation. Through the first three months of this year, about 500 calls every day heard what's been dubbed the on hold message, with wait times averaging 37 seconds. That's almost 20% of the calls made to 911 every day. Between January and March, more than 6,000 who called 911 waited 60 seconds or longer. Nearly 1,000 waited at least two minutes. Because people call 911 when they're in crisis, um, it really wouldn't be appropriate for me to say that that's acceptable. Assistant Chief James White says the city's goal is that no 911 call is delayed, but that in a major city like Detroit, that just isn't possible. When highly visible crimes like last month's shooting in Greektown happen, scores of people will call 911 reporting the same single crime. That jams up the phone lines, leading callers to wait, including those reporting completely different emergencies. She couldn't get up, like she was just like slumped over. Callers like Lamaria Wright, who last summer called 911 when her mother collapsed. I was screaming, I was like, I'm like, Mom, Mom, like, is you okay? Is you okay? And she wasn't responding back. And I called the EMS. I got the answer machine. Remain on the line. Do not hang up. Your call will be handled by the next available operator. This is ridiculous. Maybe my phone is just, you know what I'm saying, tripping. I'm in panic mode. Please be prepared to give the address of where help is needed and your name. So you called not once. Not, not twice, but three times. Three times. Mm -hmm. Every time you were put on hold. Every time I was put on hold. A call taker answered after a few minutes, Lamaria says. But by then, her mom was worse. She was having a seizure and she had ended up brain dead the next day and then she was gone. Do we have issues uh, with the calls? I don't think a 911 call should go to hold. Do we have enough call takers? That was Mayor Duggan responding to our investigation into other problems with 911 in March. It was our reports and questions that prompted the city to come up with a new system to track the number of calls being delayed. As it relates to call takers, are we fully staffed right now? We are not. Turns out the city has been severely short of call takers. At its lowest point this year, they were 24 short. Assistant Chief White blames attrition for the vacancies, but says the city is currently down only seven and is poised to add a class of 12 in the coming weeks. It's good news if you ever need to dial 911 in Detroit, but to those who already have and waited, it's too little too late. If I couldn't breathe or talk, imagine if I just passed out here now. Who, who's going to save me? But there is good news. Armed with the new data yielded by our investigation, DPD has added more staff during peak calling hours to better meet demand for calls. Now, instead of 500 calls being delayed every day, it has fallen to about 400. Still a lot of work to do. It is just one of the scores of changes made in wake of our investigation dating back to October. We'll tell you about all of them tomorrow on 7 Action News at 6. But the, the, one of the key things here that we learned at DPD stressed, when people get that on hold message, a lot of them hang up because they think, did I miss dial, is something wrong with my phone? Do not hang up, you just go to the back of the line. So if you're in Detroit or anywhere and you hear that on hold message, 
stay on the line. Hopefully within about hopefully a minute or less they will get to it. Sometimes it takes longer, but do not hang out. You gotta hope so because that's why people were in such a panic and we did that Absolutely. story earlier about people calling Uber instead of waiting exactly. on an ambulance. And you so. can understand why. And if some action is being taken as a result of your reporting, that's making this a safer city for all Detroit residents. That's good news for sure. Yeah. Let's hope it uh, helps. Thank you, Ross, as you always, for your it. investigation.